Hi guys, Retro Zengro here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna take a closer look at my Cyberstorm MK2 with an 060 processor and 120 megabyte of RAM. Now it has got its own original fan, but I have just received a box and uh, I am going to see if if this one oh it seems like it's a tad smaller but well this one should fit on the cpu i'm just gonna upgrade the cooler on my 060 and on my 040 um with a brand new one so uh instead of using a 30 old <laughs> one but it, it just feels like it's a tad smaller but I'm not sure. Let's give it a go, guys. Now, this Cyberstorm MK2 came with this CPU fan cooler. And I have other Cyberstorm cards and also the Commodore 3640. And actually, all of them has got this passive gold cooler with a little fan like this so and clips like this so it, it has been used on many many cards i just want to upgrade <laughs> um i got this one on ebay it says that it's it's for socket five and seven but on the ad it says that it also works it was actually uh, on sale for the for the Amiga so it should work it should um, fit over here but before I install that let's just take a look at this lovely card as I said this is from phase 5 digital products the Cyberstorm MK2 with an Motorola XC68060 RC50. So it's a 50 megahertz 060 CPU installed. And it has got four of these 32 megabyte of RAM. So it has got 128 megabytes of RAM. And I have no idea what I should use so much RAM for on my Mega 4000, but yeah it is what it is again the back side of it so let me see if i can install the new fan here and then put this in my mega 4000 and make a quick test on sysinfo and run a game <laughs> all right i will say <laughs> it's a really really tight fit yes you can put it on the cpu but if I knew it was this tight, uh, I would have bought something else. So these legs, you have to bend them out a little. <laughs> and then these are too short, to, so you have to um, bend them out. And I ended up, you know, putting the clips in here. And then these ones, if you look at this angle, Look at how they stand. It, they were straight like this, but they're not just, just they're bent now. And I mean, yeah, it is a tight fit. It has to sit tight, I know, but it's not the easiest fan to install. Now I have installed fans before, so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it sits nice. So I'm uh, anxious to know about the about how many decibel the noise is it just says low profile and low noise so yeah heatsink and cpu so let's um plug it in and uh, yeah check it out <laughs> all right guys the card has been installed in my mega 4000 i love the construction of the mega 4000 so easy to work with i am um, yeah, it's just one of my favorite computers. Now we're gonna check out the noise level, but before we do that, usually 
these ones has got a uh, metal plate in here also with small holes this one has been laser cut and it has got a low noise fan i think it was 9 decibel fan installed compared to the original one it's a really good one <laughs> but you can st still hear it and it and this big psu box it, it gives this echoing sound so i'm just gonna check the camera close to this little one over here so we can uh, yeah check the noise level so let's just give it some power guys um yeah also i have installed a as you can see onboard compact flash i need a compact flash card reader and a 16 gigabyte compact flash card there of course with the drivers for the old 60 cpu that's important guys so let's just power this baby on and see what's gonna happen we've got some led action checking the disk drive That's okay. Um, I can live with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you close the box and you play the Amiga games with high volume and all that, well, this system is just nice. So let's uh, just... Um, Put the camera the proper way and all that and take a quick look at this this computer guys it, 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 it. let's just see what's inside this one two second guys let's adjust it so you can see up top like this i was in my living room for i don't know one hour then i got company over and all that so i should move to my game room again i just, i really wish just you know guys sometimes having the house for myself just alone it could be great but oh yeah end up in my game room again but now i'm with you guys let's take a look at this in 4000 so as you can see we got the magical two megabytes of chip ram and we got 140 megabytes of fast ram it's just it's it's a madhouse let's look at first which amiga and see that this is a 50 megahertz cpu 68060 with mmu and it should also have a fpu there 50 megahertz fpu also and two megs of chip kickstart 3.1 your computer is an Amiga 4000, yeah. And is this info? Let's see how this 060 scores. Um, also, drive speed. Let's let's check this one, let that out. This is Sysinfo 4.0 060 AGA chipset. My lovely, lovely AGA chipset. I love it. I mean, I'm in love with the AGA demo, demos and games and all that. It's just great. So we are 70 times faster than an Amiga 600. That's just enough. It scores 37,000 dry stones and 39.5 MIPS. <laughs> uh, chip speed versus A600, 7.20. So that's okay guys as you can see here we got fpu it doesn't say how many megahertz but that's also 50 megahertz and here everything over i mean everything from 50 megahertz and faster sysinfo shows some odd stuff guys i have tried 060 with 80 megahertz a revision 6 there it says he it said here that it was a seven megahertz CPU. <laughs> so yeah, it's not the most accurate system, but I think it's the one of the most loved uh, speed comparison program out there. It's all right. Let's expand this one. Yeah, as you can see, it's <laughs> it's eight times faster than an Amiga three thousand and double the speed of a standard Amiga 4000 so we have a lot of speed here guys 
that's just beautiful. Let's check the memory. 128 on the Cyberstorm. I love these Cyberstorm cards. Uh, I, um, I love the idea by having the RAM on board. And we have 8 megabyte on the motherboard and 2 megabytes of cheap RAM. That's nice. Let's also check the drive speed. Now on my Amiga 2000, it's about 2.3 or something like that megabytes per second. So let's see with this 060. Yeah, it's about the same. I mean, this one has got buffered ID, but still the speed, the, the reading speed is almost the same as my Amiga, two, uh, Amiga 1200. So again, my Amiga 1200, as I said earlier, my favorite computer, it can do, in my case, it can do much of the same and just take much less store on my <laughs> computer table. So that's nice, guys. Let's just jump over to the boards. We got a server two board. <laughs> Let's just jump over to some games. I just turned off all the lights so we can take a closer look at Frontier 2 together. And while there we go. So let's go down to F. There we go. Oh and using using this menu with an O60 is it's it's incredible guys. I've tried this uh, fuse, what's that? I've tried this with 030, 040, but 060 is just so nice. So let's find Frontier. Frontier. French. German CD32 version. I mean, when you install these accelerator cards, it's one of the best games to take them out with is actually this intro in the beginning of frontier we all love it guys and we have we have watched it uh, in thousands of different youtube videos but here's another one with an 060 in an amiga 4000 it runs so smooth i um, yeah i love it Yeah, it runs so smooth, guys. So I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. I just hit 150,000 views <laughs> on my channel today, and I'm so grateful. Thank you. I mean, still, I'm just about a year old channel, and reviewing these old retro computers i mean it, it, it's just great to be a part of this and i'm i'm so thankful about the support i'm getting from you guys so again really thank you for your time and i hope you'll subscribe and share this video and my channel with your friends if they're also into retro stuff why not just join each other i mean um, on, on on facebook Commodore 64 dash Amiga Retro Django. Let's just come in and join the team. We are yeah, talking about all retro stuff in there, guys. So uh, until next time, play some Frontier 2. I mean, I watched this game on an Amiga 500, 7 megahertz, and we were just blown away back then. But this, I mean, so smooth. <laughs> Have a nice day, guys. Bye.